The old school players among you will remember the Summer Summer Misfortune build from, I think, five years ago? Maybe more? Anyway, Summer Summer is a Korean challenger player and actually the inventor of the Doran stacking build, getting three Doran's blades and then Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge. Obviously, Doran stacking is no longer possible, so we go into the freshly buffed Essence Reaver right away, setting Misfortune up for not Infinity Edge, but Quick Blades. Quick Blades were not an item back in the day, but this is a huge upgrade to the playstyle. From there you go into full crit, turning Misfortune into a dueling machine. Summer Summer used to play this with a Kleptomancy rune page, but when Kleptomancy got removed, she instead went for press the attack. So we'll do the same. Great dueling and overheal for late game kiting since it combos with MF's W. As long as you're shielded, you will keep W passive intact. And if you want season 14 to be the season where you finally reach high elo, you can make that a reality by hiring a challenger coach with my sponsors from Solo Queue Solution. All info in the description, and have fun with this throwback misfortune build. Caitlyn Morgana is always a nasty combo. We have to respect them at every stage. One Morgana Q leads into Caitlyn traps, leads into headshots. Not good. So yeah, we gotta stay mobile. Hopefully. Caitlyn also with the first strike page. So maybe she goes lethality? I don't know. Sounds interesting though. Let's get our farm. And not take too much damage in the process. Okay. Just make sure we don't stand there at a level disadvantage. <laughs> That'd be a real shame. But yeah, we want to scale um, with a full crit build like this. We of course have a strong late game, and we have a Senna. Wow, it bounced to no one? Unbelievable. But yeah, that's the gist of this early game. Just survive and not scale. Especially when Caitlyn goes Lethality, she won't scale nearly as well as I will. But of course, Lethality items are broken right now, which is also something that needs to be considered. Can't get that minion anyway. Yeah, if we get pressured under tower here, we just need to wait for... I mean, it's relatively safe for them, because all we have is a Master Yi in the jungle, who won't gank them early. They know that. Hmm. Somehow that hits me um, with everything. <laughs> Let's trigger the traps. We're still decent in shape. I mean, Caitlyn lost a lot of health too. Unlucky bounce. Let's pop one biscuit. We get another one in 15 seconds and we want to stay on high enough mana. Alright, got them all. I actually got the ward too. That's wild. But yeah, Master Yi won't help us anytime soon, I think. Gotta navigate carefully. Senna is creating a lot of pressure herself. Oh, I'm wasting too many Qs. I need to stop using spells to farm. Need to save some mana. Everyone bot side right now. Oh, that landed. Imagine. Still misses. We're gonna queue and cooldown. This is actually a huge opening. Master Yi goes for the wrong person. And I lose my flash too. What a shame. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. <laughs> yeah, that is right here. Okay, so now hopefully sees. Didn't see in time though. Lost a ton of health. 
They're all low. Master Yi is relatively high on HP. But now I'm operating on exactly zero mana. There's no other way of putting it. And Senna walks up with zero HP, which is even worse. Another biscuit arrived. I think I use it. I want to stay until Caitlyn recalls. Okay, but Master Yi is getting fed, which is, of course, phenomenal news for the state of the game for us. If he keeps going... I don't get any credit for these kills, which is kind of sad, but still okay. Enemy off the map's always good. Get the wave. Alright, so that's under tower. We can recall. Maintain momentum. It's a little bit sad that Senna just came back and now I need to recall, but I can't stay here for obvious reasons. Okay, we buy some components. I want to avoid early crit cloaks because while it is more damage in all ins if you get lucky enough, they can mess with your farm, your CS, your last hitting, and I don't want that to happen. But that's just preference. You could just you could buy a crit cloak if you really wanted to. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, Essence Reaver needs to be completed fast. The components kind of suck after all. How dead are we? Okay, it's fine. Senna? Wanna take the plant? No, you don't? Okay. Sure. Then they will. Just don't give them the control ward for free if you can help it. Alright, finally got ult. They also didn't go for the plants. Until now, it seems. Couldn't find an angle to ult. But yeah, this is fine. We got the assists, we stopped them from dragon. We killed Morgana, okay. As good, as good as it gets, really. Let's push the wave. I still have some mana left in case we find an opening for ult. But Senna would need to land a... W for that. Master Yi on Dragon, sure. Close. They could have connected. Unfortunate W placements again. <laughs> But it's fine, I recall. They get an extra wave on the tower, but I will collect most of it because it's a cannon wave so it doesn't die as fast. They get platings, we can't prevent that. So that's fine enough. But yeah, next base, 800 gold, should be a full Essence Reaver. Had I not bought Dagger, I would have had it now, but Dagger still did some work here. Don't, don't touch it. What are you doing? She attacked the cannon minion, which makes it die two tower shots earlier, I think. Yeah, it dies with this one even, yeah. Okay, now I will miss... Ah, okay, I'll, it's okay, I don't get the wave, it's fine. I'm still ahead in CS. Boots arrive too. Yeah, I lose every single wave, uh, every single minion in that wave as a consequence. I 
I could just push another recall again for my Essence Reaver. That's really worth. Not even kidding. Yeah, let's knock off her first strike. <laughs> so she doesn't get money for this. Plus we save some damage on Senna. Okay, basing right now is troublesome because they would get pressure on the tower. I like my item, but again, we need to mind the tempo of the game. And currently it's not possible to base without losing a lot of resources. Alright, I'll stay in the tower, ult the next wave, then recall. If Senna is dead, there's no merit in me staying here. Or if she doesn't push, I just base out, right? Yeah, she doesn't push. Sure. More power to you. <laughs> okay. We're slightly ahead as a team still, but Caitlyn with three kills is a little worrisome. Yi with six kills. Looks like a good late game, so I'm, I'm still confident. Ah, uh, about that. Wow. Hmm. Let's try to use the little bit of lifesteal we have. Plus Senna Q, yeah, okay, we're healthy enough again to not die to a random Caitlyn ult. Now, SS Reaver has a huge power spike, as you can see. We can spam Q, push the wave with it. Okay, one plating should be alright. Maybe even two. I low-key want to stay, even. On the other hand, Belveth is here again. Sure, we trade flashes. But yeah, life still actually starts to kick into gear now. If only Yi would gank. At this point, he can just farm them, should he want to. Okay, they don't know he's here. Or don't they? It doesn't matter, we get dragon. We should. We have so much pressure with my ults. I thought they would walk there. Okay, wasting ult, kinda bad. <laughs> I get the steal. They actually stole Dragon. Okay, that was my bad, though. I wasted ults, which lost us all pressure. It looked like they would commit already, but they didn't. I had to wait longer. I 
Oh well, it's just one drake for them, it's not the end of the world. It's not cool, but it's also not too tragic, really. How am I still missing farm? <laughs> I can use my spells now. I'm a little bit low mana, but Essence Reaver still recovers enough. Yeah, my spells aren't mana positive yet, but close enough. Q costs 10, W costs 0. You get more mana, the more damage you deal. So eventually you will be mana positive. Alright, time to recall. Caitlyn returns with Collector. Yeah, she goes into crit right now. Hubris into full crit. Um, we finish this, and this, and this. Okay. I like that. I will lose tower now, I think. I don't have the speed <laughs> to defend this. I mean, by the time I'm there, Caitlyn already took this. Oh, she is not. Okay. So I do get to keep my tower. That's a little bit annoying, but I can life steal from the wave if I don't take any more poke damage. Yeah. It's fine. Casting my ult here also not too bad. I get the wave, plus I stop Caitlyn from doing anything. Knock off a first strike. Gotta use spells here. Are we fine? Yes, we are. Again, a Fed Master Yi. It's just kind of nice. There we go. He's so fed. He's probably solo carrying at this point. Which is kind of sad because I want to see what the build can do in this season. <laughs> yeah, staying here would be over committing. I have to. If I don't want to base myself, I have to rotate. I'm not too, uh, you know, interested in these component items. We can just farm for the full thing. Help mid lane, pressure the tower here. Your team has destroyed a turret. Shut down. And keep rotating, okay. Azir gets a shutdown. But not too bad. I got a first strike at least. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We can try to join the team. Morgana lives. Messy fight, but we of course come out ahead. Master Yi is such a monster. Let's go, Drake. I fully agree. Where will they come from bot side, I think? Yep. Here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, they disengage. So no pressure on us. We can base for, uh, for, for the item. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Getting very strong now. Big power spike. This is the... I mean, this is the point where you can start to take over with this build, I'm pretty sure. Wait for another long sword, because why not? Okay. Yeah, tons of damage, especially in ulti. Plus, even more Essence Reaver value, since we can spam our spells a lot more. And one Essence Reaver hit restores almost as much as a Q costs, so we're definitely set in terms of mana if we don't spam E without attacking anything. Which is exactly what I just did, but I have blue buff, so who cares. <sighs> okay, Master, he probably wants to farm his jungle, which is also fine. Someone would need to take bot lane, but... Oh god, Aphelios. No, what's your name? Hawaii. Yeah, we lose bot lane tower for that. But it's fine, I can hold mid lane. Hawaii really shouldn't stay here, he's low health. And it's his job to take over bot lane from this point. We just stay in the central position on the map. So we can go wherever we're needed. Just get our first strike. Why wouldn't we? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Um, I could base... At the same time, I still have some lifesteal, plus red buff healing, plus Senna. It should be fine. And I at least want to farm for a... She got me with this time around. Played around my E. But again, who cares? I could base, and I'm still healthy enough to fight. Master Yi wants to fight, so we go for that. Just press R. That works. Yeah, they get completely crushed. I think we have to just play another one after this one to truly experience the build. There's only so much you can tell from a stomp like this. It doesn't really, I mean, from the score it doesn't look like a stomp, but it truly is a stomp. Hmm, this is, I think, an overcommitment. Okay. <laughs> worth. I call worth. I know it's not worth because I've, because I've had to wait shut down, but I didn't want him to live. And here we are now. <laughs> but yeah, especially overheal plus lifesteal is quite good against this poke-heavy Caitlyn build. Oh, she's not even going for crit. She goes to Rildas. I would say crit is better, also more ult damage. Just hubris, collector, lord doms, IE. Or if you want even more ult damage instead of IE, you get uh, no worry, quick blade. But, um, I mean, you do you, Caitlyn. If that's what you want to play. And she just dies. <laughs> the poor lad. Almost feels sorry. We still got most of this wave too, even the Kanaminion kind of experience at least. All right. This feels so good, just clearing everything in an instant. It only goes down again. Oh, she escapes. I thought she didn't have it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wasted my resources here. Now we all die, huh? Yep. Yeah, I got too greedy. It's, it's another case of I feel like the game's already won, so I don't pay mu as much attention, which is, of course, the completely wrong thing to do. It's how you throw a game, not how you close out a game. So yeah, let's focus. Don't want to lose this. 
Maybe not that stompy after all. I mean, on a serious note, this master, he chooses when to end this game. He can do whatever he wants in this situation. Get a free Baron right now. There we go. We can also take Dragon afterwards if we want to. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Take the free stuff, win the game. Drake, uh, Drake is free, Baron was free. So we just go for these. In the meantime, I can push bot lane. Because that's the correct thing to do here. We would lose a lot of farm not going there because the minions are slow pushing. Yeah, Master he just does his thing. Anyway, with this wave, we can crack open this tower. Wait, shut down against Master Yi? That's actually bad. <laughs> On my way. I'm exhausted. Ah, oh, without the exhaust I would have had them all, but exhaust really cut my damage. Maybe I should have moved earlier. Even Caitlyn lives, that's a bummer. Okay, so we actually got an interesting game on our hands, but I mean, still, Master Yi. The enemy gets a little stronger, but he doesn't get weaker. He's still super strong, now gets to spend even more gold. This is, this is still a free win, I would say. Hoping I'm not jinxing this right now. Yeah, against their team we don't want Giant Slayer, but we want Heating Reduction. They are collecting objective bounties right now. Sinestal has Baron, maybe we can do something with that. Okay, let's go. Super strong right now. We see Azir. Alright. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I can take it. I can farm with lifesteal. There we go. So Caitlyn's damage graph at the end of this game will look absolutely absurd. But it won't matter. It's just p poke damage like this ultimate that heals, that gets healed off instantly. So the build looks good if you just look at the stats, but it's just, it's just so bad. Oh, Yi, what are you doing? He's trying to lose the game. Uh, I'd say we push bot lane. Seems like they're a reasonable thing to do. But yeah, you're highly mobile, you're super strong. After you get through the bad Essence Reaver components, this build feels kind of nice. I want to see a proper fight though. Can we stay? I think we can. Okay, get Last Whisper and rotate to safety, create pressure elsewhere. <laughs> we have lost our shutdown gold. <laughs> Everyone died enough, I guess. But yeah, it's 22 to 27 it looks like, but look at the team compositions, we outscale them so hard. Especially with this Caitlyn build. I know I'm, I keep bashing it, but it, I really think it's not good. Yeah.
Yeah, and once the wave comes, I'm back to full. Ult didn't matter. She gets gold, yes, but who cares? Hmm, now ult's on cooldown and she can't kill me with it. How unfortunate is that? Maybe you should save your spells. But what do I know? She's down, let's take the tower. It's life still back to full. No, we fight. Or actually, do we need to fight? No, Master Yi just cleans them up. Okay, yeah, it's. It just doesn't work the way they play this. And Cyclosword that late, it's an early game item. Getting Cyclosword late game makes no sense, like getting a Dorn's Blade late game. Maybe we can end if Senna tanks tower. Yeah, okay, let's play another one. This was too easy. Samira and Ash. This is definitely an interesting bot lane combo, I dare say. But I, should, I think we, sh we should have this matchup, especially because Senna is so strong against Samira. I messed up a minion over nothing. Um, and they don't have the best synergy. Yes, Ash ults is good setup, but that's the only spell. They don't have a, they don't have much pressure in lane, especially before level six. So we should try to take advantage of that. Good Q. And try to not lose more minions. Of course, Vi is good setup for Samira, and she is certainly a factor in this game. If only I had Triumph, <laughs> but this build works with Overheal, um, and I do commit to that. Actually, do we get Cull? I kind of feel the Cull, come on. I regret buying Cull every time I do, but man, I feel like it right now. Especially looking at all the farm I'm losing, which is not used to stack Cull now, but it's fine. It is fine. Uh, you're just locked out of buying Estradorans, yeah, yeah. Just checked to make sure because, <laughs> I mean, would be broken if you could stack them these days. Get him. Get him, boy. Oh no, I can't walk up. I will lose more farm. Don't have summoners here. So we gotta be careful, she's behind us. We can see from their body language. Or at least that's what they want to make us think. Senna basing on a frozen wave, no. Brother. The auto didn't go through. It literally didn't go through. Okay. Bad, uh, bad move. Yeah, but this wave was frozen. It's, this was such a bad position to be in. <sighs> so yeah, it's still fine. I think. But not getting that kill on Ash kind of hurts. Yeah, Ash is generally speaking a good pick against Misfortune because of her range advantage plus slow plus ultimates versus your ultimates. But now I can finally farm. Okay. Let's slow push. The wave, or the, not the wave, the lane is still relatively even. Especially because Senna is very strong with the serrated dark here. But yeah, we slow push. 
Double kill for Mordekaiser. Hello there. Yeah, we just slow push the wave, protects us from anything that can happen. We just need to actually land the last hits. Okay. I have 100% death participation. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> but yeah, we keep hitting every CS here. It's quite easy with that much AD. Says he and Mrs. Farm. <laughs> Alright. Can poke them a little bit here. Getting Samira low is quite valuable because she can't really go in if her health is too limited. A lot of action in the top lane. Yeah, so it looks like we have lane priority right now. Actually, considering this build used to have Doran stacking in it back in the day, I'm not too mad about buying Kal. Yeah, let's just push them in. Works quite nicely in our favor, I think. Get a plating. And Q there. Yeah, Senna autos work through Windwall. As the Samira player, you have to keep that in mind. Okay, got ults, wind walls on cooldown. We'll go for this. There was a chance they die there, and chipping them low, getting them out of lane, gives us a nice advantage. Plus, I don't want to ult when Samira has wind wall or Ash has ult, and this is both of this is about to happen. So that was just a good timing in general. That's good enough. Just base here. We already got quite the advantage. Look at the CS difference. Hmm. I get a uh, crit cloak here. It's, again, not the best purchase in lane, but I want this Essence Reaver. Just need to keep it in mind while farming, because if I hit a minion that's high health and I want to two-shot it, it might ruin it. Getting it just low enough for minions to finish it off before my next auto is ready. <laughs> that landed. Okay, we get her flash. Good enough. Yeah, this dragon is a good call. And this is another stomp, isn't it? Look at it, my t entire team's winning again. They're just crushing them. Hmm, I can pressure the tower here. Or I could kill Ash. Both look nice. I have enough for my Essence Reva, right? Yeah, yeah, let's just base. Let's not stick around. And now I'm kind of happy buying the Crit Cloak, because had I bought Dagger, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. But yeah, maybe we have to play yet another one after this, because this is just another stomp. 
I still want to give you or uh, provide you with lots of content because I don't stream these days, which gets some people a little bit sad. So I guess these longer videos kind of make up for that. Uh, Samira so working on on what? <laughs> Is this hubris into a collector? Not the build I'd recommend. But yeah, now with Essence Reaver we can go completely ham. Still miss minions. <laughs> and again. Hey, yeah, Vi is lurking, trying to set up Samira. Huge Essence Reaver damage. Ash roaming. So we just push. Punish Samira that way. They get a dragon, but we got a plating, so it's not even that bad. We see Vi mid lane. So not much that can happen. Huge crits. Okay, but we can't really ult blindly. Ash has R to counter, Samira has Wind Wall. All things that need to be kept in mind. I should have pressed W there to get extra damage on the tower from Sheen. Okay, but keep pushing, keep up the pressure. Alright. Dodging arrow with high movement speed. Now we can try to look for an ult play. So naturally we just go for it instantly. <laughs> Maybe a little premature, but I just saw them walking up and... Okay, that works. Good enough. We kind of messed up though. Ah, missing a minion. But hey, we still got a lot of pressure. And now we can base, get a ton of items. And I actually feel happy about Cull. Maybe Cull belongs in this build. Who knows? Maybe it does. Um, upgrade boots. Get this. Do we upgrade boots? This plus this is also kind of nice. Maybe yeah, upgrade boots. <laughs> I made up my mind. We just get a long. Actually, what am I even saying? We have a Cull we can sell. That's not enough. <laughs> but it's probably. Better to just go this. Okay. Perfect. I'm not used to playing with Cal, as you can see, evidently. But yeah, we're very strong. We can go mid lane, push it out, pressure the tower, rotate bot lane, catch the farm. All the good stuff. I'm tanking tower. Okay, two tower shots is actually massive. I might get punished for this. Never mind, that's good enough. And Samira looks dead. No, I'm not even bothering, I just go for the wave. Okay, yeah, push this past river. I guess I get zero. <laughs> it's still fine. Push past river is all we need. A thousand gold for item. So I rotate mid lane, create pressure there, just rinse and repeat. Push past river roam. That's the easiest way to close out the game like this. Your team has destroyed a 
Okay, bot and mid are past river, so we go top lane. Look for a play there. Diana stays mid lane. Let's just, come on, let's just kill them. A little bit over aggressive, I have to admit. Especially since Viego didn't even follow, he just went for Rift Herald blindly. But it still kind of worked. I killed two of them before dying. And meanwhile, Samira sets herself up to getting killed again. Man, this game is. It's an even bigger stomp than the last one, if you. <laughs> if that's even possible. Evidently, it is. 7 and O Diana. I'm also worth a shutdown despite just dying. <laughs> I, I know, the kills I just got before dying count towards the, sh the shutdown for the following stock, the melee player and me would say. By the way, Super Smash Bros. Melee, best game ever. League of Legends is also cool, don't get me wrong, but melee has a special place in my heart. <laughs> anyway, um, push mid lane past river. We just keep doing our thing here. Push past river roam. In this case, roaming means we roam towards Dragon. We'll just take it. So much DPS. These two items have perfect synergy, really. And Samira's next. Those two are next as well. And yeah, infinite mana essentially. You can spam spells during fights, deal huge damage. Keep pushing. Yeah, this mid lane inhibitor and bot lane tower, this is completely over. Unless something crazy happens. Shutdown, shutdown. Okay, that's a start to something crazy happens. Let's not overstay. We can base, get some components. Can we steal something? When is blue buff spawning? Half a minute, that's too long. I want to get Vamp Scepter plus BF Sword, so I guess I take another jungle camp. The Blood Duster plus B No, Vamp Scepter plus BF Sword. I'm not sure what I just said. <laughs> maybe I said it the right way, but maybe I didn't. Especially the newer players, I don't want them to get confused. Okay, but now we have enough money. Let's recall and get our stuff. However, feeding away these shutdowns, not a good look. <clears throat> okay, and in this game, again, healing reduction will be worth more than Giant Slayer, so we'll go for Motor Reminder. Let's power farm. Also red buff for the team, they're all respawned. So we'll just take this. Perfect. Pressuring Baron? That's another opportunity to throw because the enemy might steal if we don't kill them first. But I guess the, uh, D yeah, Diana is protecting us here, so we can just go for it. This build has crazy Baron DPS. Spamming Q and W with good crit. Alright, Diana is still fine, hopefully. No, she's not. Another shutdown. Yeah, she's biting off more than she can chew. 
We should push a lane where we can still take an inhibitor. Not mid lane. Okay. Let's just close out this game with clean macro. No reason to overcomplicate this. They're responding to bot lane right now. We have Azir here though. And Samira. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get some, um, what's his name? Azir ulted. So in this case, we just rotate here, get some farm. Get this wave in, go bot lane, push the tower in. Oh no. Okay, he abducted her. So I didn't even need to flash, but Mordekaiser ulti is definitely still welcome. Still a good siege, especially now without Ash ulti, we can go hard in. Crack open the inhibitor. There we go. And now we just retreat, take dragon, take top lane, that's the ideal macro. But if the team has different plans, then that's fine as well. Wild. She did way more damage than I expected, but I guess she got shutdowns. And we overstayed. We should have based ages ago, shouldn't we? Uh, how important is healing reduction right now? Do I get the last whisper component first? Samira has no lifesteal yet. Well, we get a longsword for sure. But do we upgrade to executioners? It's more power right now, yeah we do. We can sell Dorn's Blade for the Last Whisper component once we get it. And yes, they had some moments there, but this is still a complete stomp. We get all the dragons now, all the barons, we can push top lane and win. I think. <laughs> I hope. Okay, he wants this camp, then I take this camp, sure. Get as strong as we can. Why are you mid lane? Come on, push top lane. I guess because they can. Or can they? It's just a dumb play. They just go mid and uh, not mid lane. Go top lane, not mid lane. I keep stumbling over my words because apparently I'm not capable of playing and narrating at the same time. They won't move. Guys, why are you there? Okay, she got red buff for her team already. We can't steal that anymore. We could take the Krugs. But I value pushing this wave a little bit more. Or actually, why not both? Careful. Don't want to get Azir ulted and Vi ulted and stuff. <laughs> they should just. They should have come top lane, really, but they go mid lane. They're so adamant about going mid lane over nothing. Top lane, we can take a tower still. I guess mid lane inhibitors also respawned, so it's not completely worthless to go mid lane. That's a good pick. just as they flash out. I have exhaust if I need to, but don't think I do. There we go, okay. As I've said, complete stomp. 
Yeah, let's play another one. Oh, this might work. Nice, we get her heal. And we get her flash. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this lane, Shaco's a very reactive lane. As you can see, you do a lot once they walk into the boxes, but you can't make plays yourselves. If they don't walk into them, there's nothing you can do with a Shaco support. So we gotta play accordingly. First of all, push for level 2, because that's always used. Oh. That was a huge engage. Wow, Soraka being low and no flash, played with fire there. What was she thinking? Evidently not much. Yeah, I'd gladly flash for this, ensuring this kill. Getting a lead early is so valuable, because you can snowball that into something bigger, of course. Yeah, just keep pressuring. We couldn't trigger PTA there, but it doesn't matter. Nice. Good poke. Yeah, we can recall. I can get Cull. <laughs> no, actually, the more I think about it, the, the more I think this this Cull item belongs in this build. You're weak early anyway because of the Essence Figure components, so might as well go all the way. <clears throat> Playing a slow lane phase in any case, and the extra healing is surprisingly impactful with Overheal, the 3 flat health per auto. Not even sure if it's if it's diminished by the 25% only rule from the rune or if it's just 3 flat. Not sure. Careful. Careful, buddy. I can't help you. Didn't quite get them all, but almost. Yeah, what is Soraka doing? She thinks she can do whatever because, I don't know, because Shaco can't hurt her or something? That's not true, Shaco has damage. Let's fast push. Get the center tower so it resets. <laughs> Q to hit them both. Perfect. Yeah, this lane is going quite well. <laughs> the good old double ward. Huge. Actually huge. And we still have biscuits for mana regeneration. I'll use one right now. <laughs> I'm at zero. Low key worth, I'd say. I still have heal. He has a fourth shot ready, but afterwards nothing. Shaco, why? <laughs> he has 7 HP. Come on, you can do it. That was so unlucky though. No mana for Q. He needs mana for the dagger. He got baited. Oh no. Okay, we just threw our lead. Jin with two kills at this point. Yeah, I got, I mean, I got uh, outplayed hitting, getting hit by that Gen W. 
for sure. Before that, we were completely fine. Okay. Anyway, our game plan doesn't change. We still just farm it up. And, I mean, we were more proactive than I've ever seen from any Shackle lane. But... We can just always revert to playing around boxes and calling it a day. Ouch. Even took a tower shot. Okay, that was terrible. I thought I wouldn't take a tower shot, but I did because I had to dodge Jin W again. Yeah, uh, I need to play safer. Let's try to avoid trades for now because trading against Jin doesn't even do anything. Soraka just heals him back up. I didn't have Q ready. Okay, we're completely throwing this lane. There's no other way of putting it. We were so far ahead of it, now look at us. Jin with a level 6 power spike. She's level 7 at this point. I'm still level 5. Yeah, we're giga far behind. Okay, um, time to switch gears. Time to go fully on the defensive. Even just wasted my flash, which is the worst part. Okay, fast push. Get it all the way under tower. Need 800 for my item. Maybe I just are the next wave. Yeah, we can just recall. I get my Essence Fever here. Well, they're busy under tower. I need to maintain... I need to get items to, to at least maintain balance in this lane. Shaco, don't. Okay, now he's just playing stupid. <sighs> okay, but I recall, get my item and sacrifice the wave. Guess that's fine. Get boots as well. They get two playthings for that though, and they lose six more minions. Maybe they just want they just get one plating. <clears throat> but yeah, now I have counter play. Now I have an item. Which actually does something. Alright, uh, maybe. I was hoping she would walk up. Unlucky. Get him, minions! Give me some lifesteal. Hmm. Maybe I should just recall. Because Jin returns with full health. And I don't want to meet him. But yeah, the Essence Reaver power spike, even though Jin baited with heal, we still came out on top, kind of. Yeah, 
800 gold shutdown actually massive. Yeah, so again, before you get Essence Weaver, kind of sucks, but the Essence Weaver power spike is really there. And I get most of this wave. I only lose this one minion. Alright, keep going. Echo on dragons. We shouldn't fight here, so we don't draw attention to bot lane. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we can pressure the tower. Jin can run, but I can take an extra wave. Echo suicides. So does Shaco. Why do they overchase there? It makes no sense. But they have to retreat. I finished my cull. Okay, Jin doesn't retreat. You don't want to trade against this, my friend. <laughs> Just Q auto from Essence Reaver does a number to him. Yes, he will get his Soraka in a second. But man, you're playing with fire. Well, I guess Soraka healing is strong enough. I'm 1v2 now, I need to respect it. That's a trade in my favor, I guess. Even though she landed Q. Jin is basing. So just push this in. Tower plating gone, so maybe I just recall. Yeah, recall doesn't seem bad. Do they know though? They did know, but does it matter? Come on, Shaco. Guess he doesn't have any follow up. Well, I got a kill on. So oh, if he dies in this bad. But I got a kill on Soraka anyway. But yeah, this is worth it. This is so obvious. <laughs> Who is he trying to fool there? God, this... It, the lane started so well, but now Shaco fed him six kills? <sighs> I'm also on my third death already. On the other hand, Jin is worth a shutdown again, which can't be too bad for me. And Chaco wants to surrender. I guess it's Chaco. I'm pretty sure. Okay, tilted people are tilted. Big news. I feel powerful right now, despite everything. Let's take the tower. Jin has to recall. Oh, Scion is tilted. Okay, good to know. Couldn't do anything. I was feared for ages. I thought the tower was free, but apparently it wasn't. Okay, I need to 
make smart decisions now if I want to still win this game despite Shaco inting and Sion does not want you to play anymore. Upgrade this. <clears throat> Definitely a game for healing reduction, by the way. Double Storm Surge, broken item. Completely ridiculous. Yeah, I can push out bot lane, or do I even have the time to push out bot lane? That's a big question. Big shutdown. I revealed myself too early. Wasn't thinking he would just CC her there. Let's get one more wave and then regroup. Okay, get some pressure bot lane, get the tower. In the meantime, go mid lane. Try to help with that. Come on, Shaco, you can do it. Barely. Trades one for one. Arguably bad that Shaco resets his kill gold or his bounty. They take dragon, we take tower. Fair point. <laughs> okay. We could base for BF sword, but this camp is spawning and we also need farm. Wave's coming too quickly. Need to farm it instantly. Okay, now we get BF Sword plus Long Sword, which is even better. The main thing though is we need to stop the tilt. The tilt. We need to stop the team from tilting. But it looks like quite the Herculean task, doesn't it? <laughs> They're all so mad at each other. <sighs> Close one. I guess now it's time to buy more lifesteal before anything bad happens. <laughs> nice, we get so many shutdowns here. That was a perfect fight. My ult was more impactful than it looked, arguably. It split them up and stopped them from getting in good position. Baron, that's your call. No, thank you. Ah, Storm Surge. The most fairest item of them all. Katarina's coming too, I should not mess with that. You're not getting me. There we go. Clean. Yeah, she looked so greedy, I thought, maybe. <laughs> I 
On my way. Lives. Okay, they stopped Baron though. We can still go for it. Sion has no mana. This looks risky. But we have pressure in all lanes, so I think it's fine. Jin is bot lane. Okay, this is completely fine. Yeah. Free Baron. There we go. This build? I mean, it's starting to grow on me. It takes a while to come live, but after you finish Essence Reaver, it's it's actually quite good. It has the dueling power for sure. You better not mess with this. Drake and 30. Enough time to push one more wave, definitely. Unless these two are staring me down, then I better not. The damage. Drake spawned. This looks bad. Dying just as Drake is there. Not cool. You only will ult in. Or I will. It's too many opponents. I did enough damage already though. Considering how this fight started. And one thing's for sure, we need healing reduction now. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say no to this component either, but we don't have the gold anyway, so we don't even need to ask ourselves the question. <clears throat> but yeah, committing to ults was difficult this fight, because I also had to keep in mind that Yone could just ult me right back, which did um, end up happening. As soon as I rooted myself pressing R, he went for it, so I had to cancel immediately. But it did enough damage to kill off Fiddlesticks, so it did what it was supposed to do. And we killed Yone as well, so overall, still decent. <sighs> but man, we're really trying to throw this. They have three Drakes now. Drake spawns, someone ints. <laughs> Our jungler ints, of all people. True combo. Yeah, Fiddle might come. Okay, Fiddle is there. I'll just press R. Come on, Katarina. I'm going in there, for sure. She doesn't there. <laughs> Probably a smart idea not to do this. We don't have minions. I'm very thankful for every single point of lifesteal that I do have right now. Fiddle ults. Yeah, let's back off. It's not worth it. I'll just farm that jungle. Why wouldn't I?
Okay, good enough. Yeah, let's get this. He can have it. I don't care too much. Don't want to risk tilting him. Okay, we get our item. And now we start killing everyone. Truly. Remember how this game started? Jin got hyper-fed 5-0 or something. But with this build, you're able to keep up, for sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, of course, because I love this build, but let me know what you think. Honestly, Lethality is still very strong right now. It's the strongest stat. Besides Storm Surge. <laughs> if Storm Surge is a stat. Um, so yeah, the opportunity cost is high for playing this build, but if they nerf Lethality, you know what to do. Just go the Summer Summer build. <laughs> Easy. Guys, don't do anything stupid without me. Gotta call the shots yourself. Big fight happening over nothing. Sure. Fortune there to save the day. Way too much damage. You can chase Soraka if you want to, but I finish. <laughs> Drop tower aggro. It's just Soraka, who cares? There we go. Alright, let me know your thoughts. And for more educational content, click the link on your screen.